everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Dad Games Badly. We are back uh, with episode number 17 of our Canadian Draft to Glory franchise featuring the Newfoundland Growlers. Uh, uh, we are headed into the playoffs today in 2032. Uh, I believe it is our 13th season. doing quite well. We did win the cup last year, if you can remember. Uh, we had a, an up and down season last year, uh, as you had seen in the last episode, started off as champion, went down to hopeful, uh, back up to champion to end the season. Uh, third in the league, Calgary and Carolina were quite good this year, each getting 57 wins. Uh, on the bottom end, you've got Dallas, Winnipeg, Columbus, L.A., Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, and the Rangers. You know, not the greatest for season for them. And I think part of it had to do with our scoring. Now, not to say we didn't get the scoring where we needed it, considering our worst scorer is Nicholas Beach. Uh, and if you don't remember, he is actually an enforcer. Uh, if you look at that five-star physical category, strength, fighting, 99, 90 aggressiveness, uh, 84 discipline, not too bad. He had a really good rookie year. Uh, we got rid of Tommy Savage uh, in lieu of Nick here. Uh, beside Rohan Tutu, they are actually our slowest, slowest pair. Uh, but I do believe they did quite well for us this year. 13 points. Uh, plus 24, and uh, pl 12 plus 25, only 61 penalty minutes too, so uh, wasn't that much of a problem. Uh, Goaltending wise, we're still rocking Brian Hutton, uh, 907, uh, but Rafael Sacito uh, had an insane year with only six starts though, <laughs> uh, five wins, one shutout, uh, absolutely insane. Uh, and I guess his lot, his other game played would have come in. Or they pulled him very early, but who knows? Not sure how that works. Um, playoff tree looking like this. In the west, we've got Chicago and St. Louis, uh, Newfoundland and Colorado. Yes, I know Newfoundland is not in the west. Um, but I didn't feel comfortable moving anybody to the west. I just, the way the divisions are, are made up, it doesn't make sense. Uh, so, uh, Anaheim and Vegas, Calgary and Nashville, with Nashville being up one to nothing in their series already. Uh, Islanders and Philly, Carolina and Boston, Carolina up one to nothing on Boston. Uh, what else you got here? Florida and Tampa, that'll be a good series. And of course, Buffalo, Buffalo. Uh, let's not even get started on that one. Uh, and the Washington Capitals, Buffalo being up in that series. So let's just get down to brass tacks. Let's get this game, these games started. Uh, I'm not going to slow sim. Or I'm not going to like sim anything. We're just going to go ahead, do two games at a time. I kind of want to change the way. Is that an eight to two loss? Jesus. I don't even want to know what happened in that game. Uh, I want to change things up about how the videos are formatted. Okay, at least we didn't lose too badly. I feel this is going to game seven. There's one. HL, current round is over. Oh, we win in six. Uh, that is good. And it looks like the aces win in five. So they'll go on to face Rochester. We'll go on to face whomever. Uh, Chris Messier with four points to lead the series. One more. There we go. Who are we playing? St. Louis. All right, so Calgary, Anna, okay, Buffalo, Tampa, Carolina, and the Islanders are all out. Uh, Calgary, Anaheim, Colorado, and Chicago get the boot. So you've got New uh, Newfoundland and St. Louis, Las Vegas and Nashville, Philadelphia, Boston, and Florida, Washington. So that'll be interesting. I'm glad Buffalo's out. Though it would have been nice to face them in the finals. 
uh, if that was the case. As I said, Messier, uh, not so great. There was the greatest. Let's just take a quick look here at... Uh, The only people not, yeah, not really too concerned about that. Erskine would be nice to have something. Sorry, I wanted to look at goaltending too. Uh, I'll edit it out to make it look more cohesive. Why? Every time. Uh, Hutton, not too bad. Salcedo had a very bad game uh, when he came in. He must have come in. Malin, six. Weird. It must have been one of those weird injuries. All right, well, let's not put Salcedo <laughs> in that position right now. It doesn't seem like he's quite ready. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Actually, while we're at it, let's go take a look here at Colorado's lines and who we took out because we didn't get a chance to look at them. Rantanen and McKinnon are still there. McKinnon is a medium 983 overall. Ryan Clifford, who's a former first over, first round pick. Taylor Radish, Drake Batherson, Sammy Blaze, Elias Ortmeyer, who's a former first round pick. Uh, Mellenby, you're 28. And Clifford, you're 2016. Uh, Dupro, former first. Newmanin, former third. I mean, a th you got a medium elite in the third round? Jeez. He must have been real low, but... Chartrand, former first. Bogosian. Uh, defensively, Filatov, Robert Weinhandel. You know, I can see why we beat them. I don't know why it took us so long to do it, though. Kiewikowski. I mean pretty solid number so when you have a good goaltender that's the way to do it and then we'll go take a quick look here at st louis before we get into that game sorry i'm all over the place today but i'll i'll clean it up in post uh vitali chubasov former second round pick uh toby marchment former sixth round pick holy i mean 27 and he's an 86 um uh, He's a little slow, but he's not too bad. Uh, Nikita Kucherov is here. It's 86. Jesper Markstrom, former fourth round, fourth overall. Who's 22, so he can only go up. And they might even switch. Though you are a sniper. Well, you're both snipers. Rupi Hint, Samu Poulin, Christiano McGinnis. Okay. Former 8th overall pick. Eno Toscala, former 3rd round pick. Not bad. Alan Turner, Gage Cousins. So, offensively, I think we are about even. We probably have a couple, like, the better players overall. Uh, let's see. Dermot, Risto, Marcus Warner, who's a former 3rd round pick. Logan Stanley, Ulf Nyquist, who's a former undrafted defender, uh, and a third round pick here from Vegas. So Interesting. And in goal, who do we have to face? Uh, Philpula, who's a medium franchise, 25-year-old backup. Um, man, congratulations. And Andre Vasilevsky, Kucherov and Vasilevsky ended up here together. Interesting. Gonna go ahead and take a quick peek here. We are definitely the better team. Ooh, those jerseys are so gross. Get them off my screen. Why did I make this choice? <laughs> uh, I'm colorblind. Let's leave it at that. Uh, 89 offense, 95 defense. Yeah, we're definitely the better team on paper, uh, and we were before, but you never know what will happen. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. First two games, uh, we win both 4-2 to two and a 2-1 to one overtime win. Uh, we go ahead and go to games three. Uh, we win and we win. We sweep St. Louis. And we have to win this last game against Rochester to continue the Burnaby Aces' hopes. And they do not, unfortunately, uh, but that is okay. Uh, we will take a quick look here at what they did 
Lee Kowalski. Actually, that's not really bad. That's really good, Lee. Um, I'm, okay, so we're just going to take a quick look here. Let's see. Kowalski, medium nine. Let's just see if there's anybody. Glenn Ray had 10 points. Not bad. I mean, you can see you moving up next year. Uh, Sheldon Shang. Somebody else we could see moving up eventually. Uh, Christopher Weiss. Uh, low Elite. I'd like to see him do something. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Alright. So we'll simulate today. Keep simulating. Looks like we're. Ooh, nope. Spoke too soon. Philly and Florida are moving on. Boston got swept. Uh, you like to see that as a Leaf fan. I uh, hope my buddy does not hear me say that. Uh, let's go. HL playoffs are over. Oh, there we go. And we are going to face the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a quick here. <laughs> Can't even talk right now. Jeez. My apologies. <laughs> We're going to take a quick look at who Vegas is running. Uh, Yuri Nikulin, a former 6 overall pick, holy fast, uh, defensively aware, definitely a 2-way, yeah, definitely a 2-way, but I wouldn't put it past him to put some points out. How many does he have so far? He's got 6 and 13. Uh, our good friend Trevor Wong is here having a decent playoff, so he's a minus 4 though. That top line's not doing so great offensive, defensively, uh, but we all know Trevor Wong and what he's done for us throughout the years. Well, 67 points as much as he had last year. Uh, definitely not his best year, but one of his better years. Um, you know, 619 points in 820 games for the 29-year-old center. Uh, can't be too upset by that so far in your career, sir. Uh, Rob Perot, a former 18th overall pick, uh, power forward. Yeah, I mean... Two-way. <laughs> I mean, Wong's yeah, the ultimate. Well, he's not even an ultimate playmaker. He's got the better offensive. Wow, that 99 discipline. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Uh, Logan Brown, Cody Glass, Kiefer Bellows, Adrian Shing, who is from the Panthers. Um, yeah, he's all right. Tyson Yost, uh, Max Jones, Kyle Kronovic, Kovic, Alexander Wenberg, John Barnaby. Uh, former 17th overall pick. Uh, defensively, Laxo. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Alright, well, there's our problem. Well, we've got, we've got a pair that can contend. Donovan Archibald's not bad. Sean Dursey's here. How is Sean Dursey done? 82 overall. Not bad for the 33-year-old. How's his career been? I mean, he's a positive player. He's got 171 points and 656 as a defensive defenseman. I mean, and only 24 penalty minutes? Oh, he's an offensive defenseman. Oh, he's got 99 dif discipline, too. Jesus. All right, well, they've got a uh, pretty good defensive core. Uh, it's goaltending I'm really concerned about. Uh, Jonathan Ritchie, eh? Third round, 95 overall by the Flyers. Yeah. Okay, can be very emotional at times. As it affects his professionalism, and they've got Peter Mrazek as their backup. Uh, so I definitely think we're gonna have the jump on them. Uh, barely, it seems. As I said, I knew their defense was gonna be good. Their offense is exactly as good as ours. Uh, defensively, we're slightly better, and goaltending, we do have the better overalls. Um, so this is going to be an interesting series, that's for sure. Let's jump right into it. I could see this going seven games. Uh, I don't want to look at the draft class right now, thank you. We get the 4-3 win to start, 2-1 loss in game two. Heading to Vegas for the games three and four, let's get those done. Uh, we lose and we lose. All right, well... We are going to simulate these games here. Not really much I'm going to make any changes for. I know how good this team is and what they can do. 
So we'll jump through period one. Growlers are up two. Freys and Payette getting those golds. Let's hit the next one. Jeffreon, Lacert, and Emrek. Uh, the team is starting to get get it together. Emrek on the doorstep. Let's just go ahead and finish this. And it's five to nothing final. So Hutton say twenty stopped twenty one shots. Payette had two and the other guy had two. I didn't see his name because I jumped out of it so fast. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate to this day. Alright, let's sim this game. Fingers crossed something happens. Let's go. Uh, Wong scores. Bickle scores uh, with 423 left. Wong pretty much right in front of the goal. I don't know what he was doing there, D. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Growlers, here we go. Laxo gets a goal to start it off. Hickey, Fraze, Fraze, and Emric. Uh, Emric and Fraze have really kind of turned it on the last two games for us. And we'll just jump ahead and a quiet third period. Uh, no goals scored. So three stars in this one. Fraze with three, Bickle with three, and hey, Takashi with three assists and a hit. That's what I like to see. So we are going to game seven uh, back in Newfoundland, the mile one center. Let's go ahead and sim this game. All right, let's go. Here we go, Lacert and Logan Brown, uh, one for one. Logan Brown pretty quick to get his goal back. Uh, tucks it in from the side. Hutton, I'd like to see a little bit better uh, up close, but we'll work on that. Growlers get two. Uh, Takashi scores 317 left in the period. And what we're gonna do is just slow sim this here counter down. Growlers on the power play. That goes to waste. Uh, Laxo gets a goal on Hutton in four and a half minute, 14 and a half minutes. Another Growlers penalty goes to waste, but Lafreniere, oh no, he gets one on the power play. Vegas back on the power play. They make nothing of that. Four and a half, three and a half, two and a half, one and a half, 30 seconds. And the Newfoundland Growlers are your Western Conference champions. That was I was a nervous one there. I wasn't sure it was going to happen. Frenier with two, Takashi with two, and Hutton with a pretty good save percentage. Stopped 26 of 28 uh, for the night. Uh, definitely better than Vegas's goal. Uh, so it does look like we are going to be taking on the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, who I'm very interested in what they can do uh, in the playoffs this year. Uh, they just took out Montreal. So we'll go ahead and take a look here. Uh, they have lost less games than us. That's great to know. Let's go ahead and view those lines. Uh, let's see. Sean Dietz, uh, former first overall medium franchise, 23-year-old sniper. Oh. oh, that offensive awareness mixed with that wrist shot accuracy and power. Oh, my goodness. Uh, he has 14 points in 15 games, 14 penalty minutes though, and it's a plus 12. Uh, that's not bad. Who else do we got? We've got Klim Kossin with 14 for himself, 14 penalty minutes as well. He's got a lot of time in the box, these guys. Yeah, I'd say. And Kaylor Yamamoto with 14 points as well. So that uh, first line is really doing it for them. Uh, then you got Boris Kachuk with 10 points, Ryan Donato with 12, 13, Reginald Doig, holy. Um, I mean, you're getting scoring all around and you don't have any minuses, so I definitely say we have the offensive boost, but they definitely have a solid D team. Ivan Provorov... Aaron Barahowski, who's a former fourth overall pick of the Ottawa Senators, uh, Vince Dunn, Warren Finley, Valerie Popov, and Nicholas Carlson. Um, so they're getting it done with a really poor bottom pair. Uh, yeah, they're getting it done with a very poor bottom pair, uh, but they do still have Carter Hart and Nett, who is an 88 and is having an absolute stellar year. Um, do we want to take a look at our lines and kind of just see how everyone is doing? 
Uh, 16 points in 17 games, 15 points in 17 games, uh, 14 points in 17, 10. I mean, our third line is better. Our fourth line has Pierre Jeffreyon. Uh, <laughs> and Jeffreyon's only playing eight minutes a game and he has five points. Guy's legit and he's so good. No, I'm not even gonna, no changes are going to be made. We can do this. Let's go ahead and look at how they go. Wait, do they have 41, 33, and 8? Okay, so after we look at this, before we start the game, I want to check something else. Uh, 89, yeah, so we definitely have the off the defensive boost. I'm surprised their offense is so close. Um, Goaltending definitely is better. Uh, let's go ahead and exit out of this quickly. I want to go here. And I want to go here. And then I go here. And Philadelphia. 14. Okay. Alright, so middle of the pack. Or actually, well. Yeah, middle of the pack, because everything else below you is stupid. I just hate this playoff system. It should be the top 16, doesn't matter. Alrighty, let's go! Alright, we'll send the first two here, simulate up to this day. So we win the first two, 7-2, two, 4-1. to one. Uh, At this point, we're just going to sim again, 3-1. to one. We'll slow sim this one. Uh, simulate up to this day, thank you. Uh, we will sim this game in Philadelphia. Uh, let's go ahead and sim that. Period one, Growlers are up. Payette has one on Carter Hart. We'll go ahead and sim this period as well. Pollock gets another one, and we'll go ahead and play this out. As it gets down, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, not much going on, 24 to 28 shots, uh, 10 minutes left, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, looks like we did get a goal there in the end, but we're just going to go ahead and jump into the game here. And scheme fit. Yeah, but you can't check the scheme fit on how it matches with your coach easily enough. In any screen. All right, I'm not going to play it. We're we'll just keep an eye on it. One, one, eleven left uh, on the power play. Uh, Philadelphia gets the power play goal. Great to see it. <laughs> the moment you step into the game. Well, that's the way she goes. You take stupid penalties and you win stupid prizes, which is usually a goal against. Uh, they're pulling their home goal. All right. Oh, Bickle wins it up. Nope. Yamamoto gets it. Hutton glove save. Nice to see. 53 seconds left. Empty net on the other end. Let's see if we can win this. Number 98. I'm assuming that's Takashi. Yes, it is. Takashi gets it. Running up the side. And Takashi pots another one into the empty net. That's a gorgeous beard on you. Grady's not so happy. Grady's trying, to, <laughs> trying to escape uh, the U.S. right now and get into the bubble. Good luck with that one, big guy. Um, you know. I'm sure border security's going to notice a seven-foot-tall orange 
gritty. <laughs> trying to cross the border. Also, you'd have to fumigate your whole body gritty. Oh, they're bringing out the cup. They know it's true. That's what we like to see. I really wish they got the guy, the keeper of the cup. I don't, I don't remember his name. Uh, and they just have him look like it. And Why don't they just have Gary look like Gary Bettman? hockey analyst will be excited though so how lazy EA is is they have a hockey analyst in the stats page like in the news page where you can basically get more information about what's been going on in games players doing well and his name is just hockey analyst they can give him a name um there we go you're back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions, the Newfoundland Growlers, uh, 20, 20, 30 to 20, or 20, 31, 20, 32. Can we keep it going one more year? The gold on the numbers looks pretty sick, though. If it's even gold. If it's not even the same color as the other, like, the shoulders, it just looks shinier and, like, golden. That looks cool. You know what, guys? You played valiantly. Unfortunately, we are a fraternity of brothers. And we do what we have to. So I thank you for playing hard. Hutton with the curls. I love it. Absolutely love it. Doig, Donato, you know. Good game, good game, good series, guys. See you next year. Is Bickle the cap? Oh, Bickle's winning the con Smythe. Does he have the con Smythe with six points? I'll have to double check that. And here it comes. The Stanley Cup. It's all that matters. We made it. We made it. Salcedo's there. He's pretty happy. I love seeing the POCs in hockey. It means it's working. I mean, he kind of could be Batman. Just cut, you know, an extra, like a foot and a half off. Uh, who is that? Is that Messier? Is he our captain? I don't remember. Oh, no, Lafreniere. Lafreniere is our captain. All right, and it's going to number 57. Uh, is that Nick Beach? No, nope. Lassert. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind that. That's a good handoff. See, I don't mind these jerseys. The white ones are actually pretty nice. I just don't like the cream ones. Nick Beach gets it. The rookie. The enforcer. I mean, it was either going to be you or Savage, and I just figured you were younger, and uh, I couldn't say no to that physical category on that back end. All right, Nick, stop hogging it. Stop hogging it. <laughs> uh, I know we are in Philly, but could you not just be putting our logo up there? Brian Hutton, the man. I know we've grown a lot with you, Brian. We've definitely grown a lot with you. And there's only other one other place to go. Back to backs. Let's get another dynasty going. Look at those beards. Look at those faces. Let's get those. We got some twos up there. We got a one up there. Yeah, boys. Let's go. Solnishkin. That's who it was. Uh, so Hart actually played a really great game. 30 saves. 938 save percentage. Like, we just pummeled them. And they pummeled us too, but Brian Hutton was not having it. Uh, cannot believe it. Let's go ahead and go back. Oh, there you have it, everybody. 
Newfoundland Growlers are your back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions. Calder Cup winners are the Springfield Thunderbirds. Let's go ahead and take a look at awards. Um, yeah, Newfoundland, look at that, back-to-back. -back. Uh, team awards, President Trophy went to Carolina, and that's about it. Individual awards, Sam Steele winning the Art Ross, Hart going to Sveshnikov, uh, Volchenkov getting the James Norris, Goudreau winning the Lady Bing, Calder going to Sabrin in Chicago, uh, Bickle getting the Conn Smythe, we need to look at how many points he had, uh, Richie getting the Vesna, Hutton getting the Jennings, uh, Bowie getting the Masters, and Sharma getting the Jack Adams, not sure how we haven't won a Jack Adams yet, uh, Nico Heischer with the Selkie, Feshnikov with the Ted Lindsay, and the Maurice Richard going to Grebeshkov in Chicago. Uh, not as many points, or not as many as we wanted, but we'll take a look here. Any awards for us? That does not look like it at all. Uh, except team awards, we would have gotten... Apparently nothing. <laughs> Maybe had we have beaten Rochester, they would have gotten something. So, uh, what a great season had by all. Uh, honestly, can't believe it's over. Uh, so as I was saying before, what I want to do is I want to start extending, and I want to just do one season uh, in in an episode, in a video. Uh, that way we can go from the beginning of the season to the to the draft, and then end it, and then basically the the week between will be an off season. I'll do my my all my off season stuff because it doesn't matter who I resign. Uh, I'll come back with you showing lines, um, I'll let you know who goes, and if it's anything super important, like RFAs and stuff, I'll of course record that, because why wouldn't I? Um, but I do want to make sure, I don't want this to drag out and to be like 40, 50 videos, I want because we're already on the 13th season, uh, we've got 12 left, um, so we're already going to be in 30 if we, if we were basically to keep it up the same, but now that we're competitive we're going to be in the playoffs a lot more and I don't want to do one video per playoffs that's kind of why I shortened it so we're going to go ahead and take a look here at the draft lottery results I don't know why I'm rambling right now but uh so Dallas uh stays Chicago Columbus moves up one and the Rangers move up five like not bad um yeah LA with two Winnipeg with two uh it's gonna be interesting this draft I'm sure all right Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and look at retired players quickly, see if we lost anybody. I don't think so. Si oh my goodness, that makes me sad seeing that. Uh, Forward-wise, losing people like uh, Sagan, Landeskog, Barkov, Reinhardt, Raquel, Zabinajad, Kasha. Uh, Sagan over a point per game, Landeskog pretty dang close, Barkov pretty dang close, uh, under 100. Uh, Reinhardt, you know, 150-ish. 55 exactly. Uh, Raquel, 5, 400. Um, you know, Jared McCann's in here. Perlini. Like, honestly, if you can put up 500 plus points in the NHL in your career, that's pretty dang good. Like, I couldn't even put up one. So, I mean, I couldn't even get on the ice and skate with those guys. So. <laughs> uh, we'll take a look here at goalies quickly. Uh, Gibson, Gr Hellebuck, Grubauer, Mrazek, Riddish is gone, Brassois. Georgiev, Vladar, uh, pretty interesting group there. Here's the sad one. Morgan Riley with 1,000 points in 1,500 games. Uh, Ghost Bear's gone. Brady Shea is gone. Uh, Shea Theod <laughs> Brady Shea and Shea Theodore are gone. Travis Sanheim, Lindell, uh, Madison Bowie. At okay, Madison Bowie, you're 37. That <laughs> makes sense. I'm like, he's in his mid-20s now, so it would make sense. I'm just confused. Uh, I just want to quickly look. I don't think we lost anybody. Our team is still fairly young. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. So we're just going to go ahead and sim to the draft, and I'll see you there. Or not. <laughs> we'll just do this. Uh, Alexander Barkov is now a coach. Uh, did we lose anybody here? Maxim Bernier is gone from the Aces. And... Nobody is gone. So no retirements. Uh, don't care about draft interviews. Pro scouts don't care. Uh, let's go ahead and just take a quick look. Let's take a quick look at the draft class. 
Uh, Scott Prosser would be fantastic somebody to get. Um, we are more looking... Yeah. Shit, I don't even know where we're looking. It'd be good to know, wouldn't it? Uh, let's go draft board so we know where we're picking. Uh, 26 and 32. Okay. So 26 and 32 and 19. Okay, so we have quite a few picks in this draft. We have quite a few. So who are we looking at? Brayden McDonald, Brayden. I just want to go into this knowing if there's a, a reason to, to move up or if there are people here that we wanted to get. I thought there was, and I thought we kind of talked about that in the last video, but it's been a week since I recorded it. Um, junior, <laughs> junior Camper, buddy. Great names. So 26 and 32. Uh, so Braden McCann is somebody we would want. Um, we might have to move up to get him. And then 32, we're looking at this Ritu guy, Al McInnes and his ready uh, voice. Bookaboom. Okay, I think we're good, I, though I may move up to snag McCann just to make sure we get him. Cause, and then Marcel Danis. Danny, I would assume, as they're three years out, but you're, mm, yeah, okay, I think I know what we're going to do. We're going to go for McCann, and we're going to go for that other guy, um, so let's just go ahead and jump into the draft, and see whereabouts I can move up here. Seriously, nobody wants to move up outside of... Well, that sure sucks. Um, I kind of want to trade. Let's go. See if New York will hook us up. I know you're not interested, but work with me here, please. I will give you 26, and I will give you 64. What do you think? Can we make this work? Too far off. Okay, how about I throw... Uh, let's see, 160 in there? Okay. I didn't really want to use 51. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. So we're going to just go ahead and sim to the 21st pick. Uh, we already know who we're picking, so I'm not too concerned. Prosser, 83, medium elite, new and dyke. Uh, 82 medium elite, Oliver, 80 medium elite, 81 medium elite, 82 medium elite, jeez. High top 9, yikes. Ottawa, why would you do it? Jacuzzi was only a 64. Uh, Bodemien was a 73. Uh, Skalov, Camper was a 74, medium 4. Uh, Grabowski was a 78. He would have been really good to get. Uh, Goslin, 65. Sadikov, Chichu. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and take who we are interested in taking. So we're going to take McCann here, and then in our next pick, uh, we are going after Ritu, I believe. If it's not Ritu, it's probably going to be, like, boys. All right. Brendan McCann of the Sudbury Wolves. Welcome to the team. He is a low elite, but a 75 overall. So we're just going to go ahead and sim to our pick here. Uh, this is Stuart Wright, 73, Alstad, Jonas, Gores, Madano, Danis, Inglis. Yeah, so you took Danis. And we definitely got the uh, better player. And then right here, we are going to take Jack Ritu out of the Owen Sound attack. And then uh, we're going to take a quick look at uh, ooh, Greer. Uh, okay, we're definitely moving up. So, Jack Ritu, how do you do? No, really, how do you do? 
game. <laughs> I really hate that. Just show me. Uh, 77 overall, medium 4. Let's check that skating. 83. Let's go. I know medium 4s aren't that great this year, but honestly, it's better than nothing. 85. Let's go. McCann? Okay. All right. No, 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 no. So, 43, I believe, right? All right. It's round two. So, 33. So, one. All right, New York, what do you want for this? 40th overall, I'll give you 64, and let's say 96. However, I want this back. All right, okay, you want to give me that? I want this one then. How is that not meeting your... How is that not meeting your... Really? Fine, I'm gonna give you... That then. Really? I don't care about anybody in that round. Really, you want 90. I mean, I want that goalie, so. What? Go bugger yourself, New York. Alright, well, I was gonna say, I don't care about anybody left here. Uh, Buku Boom wasn't too bad, 63. Actually, I do care. Uh, nobody else, yeah. Alright, let's make our pick. We are going to take. Uh, Derek Greer out of the Flint Firebirds, the 19-year-old defender. It's a medium starter, a 66 overall. Kind of got uh, shafted on that one, I would feel, but uh, eh, you win some, you lose some. Sometimes you got to learn to fold them. So end of the third. Don't even care if we missed out on anybody else. Uh, do I have anybody pinned from here? I have Morgan Anderson, who is not being pinned. <laughs> Sorry, Morgan. All right, let's see. Sacito, I don't really want to waste another goalie pick. Hatcher. Karner, Larmer. Okay. All right. Eric Applicator. What are we picking at? 96? All right, we're going to go with Applicator now. And I think I pinned that guy up at the top. And I sure hope so. Sim to next pick, 147. I'm going to quickly take a quick look. Uh, 160. All right, so that was the end of the third round. I'm not assuming that guy was any good. He was like a low nine or something like that. Uh, low six. Uh, 66 overall. Yeah. Like as I said, you win some, you lose some. Uh, Jonathan Wong. Four years out. Let's see. Brad Hutton. Uh, two confirmed at four years. I think Lockhart was one of the f fours. No, it was Sparky. All right, Sparks was meh. That's probably green. Yeah. I mean, Chevrier. I mean, nobody is looking fantastic here, so. All right, Larmer is still there. I'm just gonna take this guy now. Why not? Why not? Low elite, 48 overall. Sim option. Sim the next pick. I think this is my last pick, or at least I'm hoping it is. Hold on a second. I'm gonna do this. All right. So make a pick. Any pick. I mean, let's 
big Cedric Mackey. Why not? He was low top nine. All right, sim to 192. We're gonna pick the guy now. Whatever his name is. Larmer, welcome, welcome. Jump down here, what do we get? Uh, low elite, 50 overall. And I should have... Yes. Sim 2, pick 224. And down here. We're, uh... Looking... Pretty great. Ah, Sawyer. Alright, so it's going to be Frank. Alright, it's going to be uh, Wade Winkler from the Everett Silvertips of the WHL. And he is a low bottom six. Well, Wade. Welcome to the team. Uh, if you get better, fantastic. When you don't, you don't. All right. So that is it. Uh, Bickle had 22 points in that playoff series. Uh, yep, and that is why he deserves the, the con Smythe. Though I would not have said no to handing it to Brian Hutton with numbers like that. Uh, Salcedo did not play any longer, and that is okay in my books. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and end this one here. Uh, we got some scouts we need to bring in, and no goal, no coaches that we need to worry about. Um, and in regards to contracts, I'll handle this stuff. Uh, but it looks like we need to re-sign Fraze and Erskine, Jeffreyon, and none of them want to come back. Uh, Machalski is ready to sign. Fantastic. Left wingers, Lafreniere needs a new deal. Uh, Arnett and Hickey. DeLuca is probably not going to be here, though he might, depending on what happens. Uh, McCann uh, will probably not get a deal this year. Uh, he's probably a couple years out at the very least. Uh, Keatley, Briere, Labrie. Uh, let's see. Coleman. I don't know. It's going to be interesting, that's for sure. Uh, defense is where I'm concerned. Bickle doesn't want to come back. Neither is Solmishkin. And 2-2. Two, two. And it's like all my guys. I didn't lock up for a long time, which is silly on my part. Do I have another C. Solmishkin? Colin Solmishkin. And Cody Solmishkin. 28 to 20. So, um, yeah. Salcedo doesn't want to come back. Franco doesn't want to come back. Um, you know, Kilger is ready. Bernaski is ready. So, do I let, you know, Franco walk and re sign Salcedo for the year? And then St. Denis sits. While the other two grow, do I make, honestly, do I do it? What do I do? Uh, let me know in the comments what you think we should do. Should we uh, try and get some value out of that medium elite gold goalie? Uh, some picks for next year's draft. Um, kind of stupid. We should have uh, tried to flip some people at before the draft if I knew that was the case. Uh, but I do not. So... We'll leave this one here. Thank you guys for checking this out with me. Uh, if you can, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.